okay negative angles right so I already mentioned in the first video that if it's sine of a negative angle it becomes negative so this is what we're going to do negative sine of 45 degrees you then ask yourself is this an acute angle yes it is so we do not have to reduce it and then we also see that this is a special angle so we need to work out sine of 45 degrees and sine of 45 degrees we go back to our diagram for special angles sine is y over r so 45 degrees y is root 2 r is 2 so root 2 over 2 you don't have to put this bracket you can just leave it like that and that's our answer if I have cos of a negative angle, we know that cos of the negative angle is positive. So cos 120 degrees. Is this an acute angle? No. So we need to reduce it. So this is going to give us cos of 180 degrees minus 60 degrees. Because 180 minus 60 gives me 20. This here is in second quadrant. In second quadrant, cos is negative. So negative cos um, 60 degrees. Are we not yet done? Because this is a special angle. Cos of 60 degrees is x over r. Our x value is 1. Our r value is 2. So negative 1 over 2. That's our answer. This one over here, negative 330 degrees, tan of a negative angle is negative. So negative tan. This is in fourth quadrant, so we're going to use the reduction of 360 minus. So negative tan 360 degrees minus 30 degrees. And this here would give us, um, in this quadrant, tan is negative. So it's going to be a negative and another negative tan 30 degrees. If I have negative and negative, it's basically the same thing as positive. You do not have to show this positive. You can just leave it as it is. Right? And 10 of 30 degrees is 1 over root 3 from our diagram sheet. But remember, we need to make sure that the denominator is rationalized. So multiply by root 3 over root 3. And this here gives us root 3 over 3. But we know that they're never ever going to give it to us as easy as this. So what we're going, we're going to get questions like this. So let's see how do we approach this. I have cos of a negative angle which gives me cos 2, 20 because it becomes positive. Minus, I have cos of a negative angle so positive cos theta. At the bottom, I have cos 400. Now you can see that 400 is more than 360 degrees. So we can just... Let's just look back at our reduction formulas. Okay, you agree with me that if I had an angle, for example, over here, and I added 360 degrees, I would end up back here. If I had an angle in this quadrant and I added 360 degrees, I would end up back there. So when we're doing a reduction with 300, anything bigger than 360 degrees, what you can do on your calculator is just take that angle, so 400 minus 360 degrees and it will give you what the new angle basically should be so this here is the same thing as cos 40 degrees okay plus cos of 360 degrees minus theta is the same thing as um cos positive cos theta because it's in the fourth quadrant and cos is positive in it now we're going to simplify this one so um, 220 degrees is in the uh, third quadrant it's the same thing as cos 180 degrees plus 40 degrees okay minus the cos theta over cos 40 plus cos theta because this is in the third quadrant, cos is negative. So we end up with negative cos 40 degrees minus cos theta over Now we try to cancel things out and we can see that there's a common factor which is negative 1 in both of them. So we're going to take out the negative we left with. Again, you can jump steps. If you don't want to write as many steps as I'm writing, you can write them in less steps.
the whole numerator will accept the negative but this whole bracket over here can cancel with the whole denominator my final answer is negative one and another question so i have cos of negative theta this is the same thing as cos theta because remember cos of a negative angle is positive I have tan 180 degrees plus theta. That there ends up in the third quadrant. Third quadrant tan is positive. Now can you see over here I have theta minus 360. I need it to be 360 minus theta. So how do I get it to be like that? What I'm doing is negative i'm taking out the negative from here and here now again remember i mentioned earlier you can use whichever sorry whichever method you comfortable with this is what makes more sense to me okay that's what i did over my denominator 180 plus theta is in the third quadrant so negative sine theta and this here is negative tan theta right this here becomes a negative if you see it like this consider this whole thing here to be the angle and then this here looks very similar to this one here tan negative angle so if i have tan negative angle it's negative of tan that angle right so cos theta tan theta times negative tan 360 degrees minus theta and um, 360 minus uh, 360 degrees minus theta is in the fourth quadrant the fourth quadrant 10 is negative so if i have another negative this here becomes a positive over right and now we just need to cancel things out, okay? So my negative over here and my negative over here cancel out. My tan over there and my tan over there cancel out. And I'm left with cos theta times tan theta over sine theta. I didn't mention it earlier, but we know the identity of tan theta to be sine theta over cos theta. So let's write that. Sine Right. Once we have it like this, my cos theta over here can cancel with my cos theta and my sine theta can cancel with my sine theta. My final answer is 1.